The piece is a one-to-one, a kind of open one-to-one. So um, in the piece, I'm singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow to um, members of the audience one-to-one. I'm holding people's hands and singing to them without breaking eye contact. I'm singing along to a backing track of the last time that Judy Garland ever sang Over the Rainbow before she died. And um, while all of this is going on, there is um, a band playing, a noise band, Okashima Island Tourist Association, and they're playing constant noise through the whole performance. I guess I was, I wanted to make a piece about Judy Garland, just from being a, a really huge fan and really identifying a lot with Judy Garland. And at the same time, I've been a big fan of noise music. I was really interested to bring those two elements together to bring out the tensions of each other. Um, and it's not necessarily two, two aspects that would sit naturally together, but in my lived experience, they do. Intention, really, with the work is um, this experience of giving somebody really undivided attention. Um, and the song is, you know, maybe only some minutes, but actually we don't spend undivided moments with one another with unbroken eye contact and hand holding. And singing to somebody very closely is a really intimate thing. Um, so people have had lots of different responses. Lots of people um, just find it really elating. Um, other people have found it too loud and they don't like that. Um, and uh, there's been tears because it is this very intimate thing. Um, and from my point of view, um, my uh, focus and um, energy, psychic energy to the individual that I'm singing to is the same, whether I'm singing to somebody that I've known for a long time or somebody that I've never seen before.